What's going on guys, Boston FaceX here, back to you with another car vlog. Hooray, another one. I know I've been wanting to do one for the past like week and a half, but every time I get here, I'm usually running a little late and plus I've been very, very busy. So a quick, 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 very quick video won't really take long, maybe a few minutes, but um, I wanted to talk about basically what's been going on for the past week and a half for me. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to start off with some sad news first. Uh, first off, uh, I keep forgetting to mention this, but, um, Daphne, um, who was, you know, WCW underrated talent, uh, she passed away, um, because she had mental health issues and apparently I think she committed suicide or something like that. And she had a thing on Instagram that I never saw the video and please don't sh share the video down because that, no. No. As someone that deals with depression and anxiety and that has been down that road, I know how that feels. And rest in peace to Daphne. Um, very, very tragic. It's very, very sad to see someone in that state of mind thinks that that is the best option. And guys, if you ever feel like that, please talk to me. I, You guys know I'm a very open-minded and I'm very, you know... I'm always there for you guys, and you guys have been there for me, so thank you for that. Also, another thing, um, my uncle passed, um, my great uncle, actually, um, he passed while I was in, um, um, while I was in California, and he passed away due to a heart attack, and that shit sucks, it really does, and rest in peace to, um, um, Uncle Frank, um, even though I don't really remember, remember him, I was young enough to at least, like, I didn't know him, know him, but I was young enough to at least remember him. So, yeah, that kind of sucks. And, um, yeah, um, I'm also working on random album reviews. The ones that my, my good buddy Matt sent me, I'm not going to lie, really suck. And I'm probably not going to be doing that. I'm probably going to be doing other ones. Matt, if you're watching this, sorry, I'm not interested in it. Um, another thing, I did watch All Out, um, AEW, pretty good show, it's not the, I wouldn't say, well, it, it probably is the best in terms of some of the match quality, but, it's, it was kind of a 50-50 show, honestly, um, TNT title match between Miro and Kingston, that was a pretty, that was okay, it was a bit sloppy in some spots, but, I mean, the crowd was into it, um, Let's see, um, I'm, I'm not going to do, like, match order because I will kind of forget. Uh, women's title match between Statlander and, uh, Baker. It was a fine match. The last few minutes were really, really good. Orange Cassie's showing some emotion. That is something. Um, women's battle royal was fine. Um, Jay Cargill impressed me. And Ruby Soho, a.k.a. Ruby Riot, showed up. So, that was cool. Um... Tag team title match, steel cage match, Hooch Bros and the Young Bucks was terrible. I was ungodly bored by that match from start to finish. And my buddy Matt will detest to that because we watched that match on Discord and that was one of the shittiest cage matches I've ever seen in my life. 22 minutes of nothing happening. God, that match sucked. Um... Paul White versus Keaton Marshall was a filler match and it happened after Darby and... Punk, which I can understand, even though it really shouldn't have happened. It was fine, short to the point. Um, I'm trying to think what other match may have happened because there's two more matches. Um, shit, I'm actually trying to remember. Um, well, there was the main event, Cage and Omega, which I fell asleep watching the match. Um, it was whatever, I didn't care for it. They don't really have good chemistry, which is kind of weird. Um, I'll talk about the aftermath here in a little bit, but, uh, match tonight was Punk versus Darby, obviously, it, without question. It was one of the best matches I've ever seen. Punk was showing a little bit of ring rust, but Darby really carried the match. Punk won, very good match. Um, oh, John Moxley versus, uh, S Satoshi Kojima. Very good match. I really enjoyed it. And it featured a debut of... Minoru goddamn Suzuki. Everybody run. 
I don't care if he's a nice guy. He will kill you if you look at him the wrong way or if you're nice to him. Yes, he will murder you if you say he looks great today. He is that goddamn terrifying. Um, so yeah, we got the debut of Suzuki, Ruby Soho, and after the match of Omega and Cage, uh, Adam Cole, baby, he showed up and he joins the Elite. He has more personality than everyone else combined in the Elite, so that's something. Um, it was predictable as hell. And then, the Flight of the Valkyries theme kicks in, and Brian Danielson is making his AEW debut. Hooray! Great shit, really great shit. He wants he um I saw some highlights on um Dynamite last night that he's gonna be challenging for the title, which I'll be looking forward to. So yeah, um all out was good, pretty pretty decent. And uh yeah, that's about it folks. Um Yeah, that's about it. Um I don't know what else to say. I gotta go to work. So I'll talk to you guys next video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, join the herd. Talk to you guys next video. Peace out.